Hi folks, I'm glad you're here with me this evening. Thank you very much. There was a magnitude 5.1 earthquake there on the big island of Hawaii. It was close to the area of the Helena slump. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. This earthquake is rather concerning. It was real shallow, 1.9 kilometers, so that would be a little more than one mile um, below sea level. It occurred at 5.53 p.m. local time, almost 6 o'clock, and this is what happened during that earthquake. I don't know if I can make that bigger. Can you see the drop? How it dropped, and then it came back up. Um, being, being the hill in a slump, that is very concerning. Now this is the tilt meter for the Kilauea summit and that's it right there. So did the side of the mountain drop down and slide? This um, area is only about 13 kilometers or 8 miles from Kilauea summit there. There was another earthquake, a magnitude 3.1 close to the very same location and this 3.1 occurred about five minutes after the 5.1. 5, uh, 5 now the 5.1, 1,096 people said they felt it. USGS gave it an intensity level of 5. Whereas the 3.1, 31 people said they felt it. USGS also gave it um, an intensity level 5. And yeah, they were both the same depth. So my guess, this is just my own personal opinion, we got a fault that opened up um, at the same depth right along here. Did it move? I don't know. Would they tell us? I don't think so. Intensity level 5 means it was felt by most people. There would have been some breakage, maybe dishes, things fell off the shelves or out of cupboards, windows might have broke, cracks and plaster, and tall objects fell over. Yeah, yeah, not good. I really like it when you guys send in your reports to EMSC so we can see, get a better understanding of what happened. Now at Volcano, it said there was strong rolling. Could actually feel the ground moving up and down. Um, Fern Forest, house shook for about 20 seconds. Um, Eden Rock rolling for a short while Eden Rock dog was barking at the moment uh, another one from the same location glass rattling a bit lasted a good 15 to 20 seconds okay house shook pretty good in South Fern Acres no damage I want to find out what direction did the movement feel like um, Hawaiian Paradise Park. That was huge and shook the whole house hard for about six seconds. Fell off my chair. Wow. So using Google Earth, let's see where um, Hawaiian Paradise Park is. That would be north. Huh. Wow. Okay. Let's bring this back out. Peekaboo. Or Peekaku. Sorry about that. Huge shaker. Things fell off the shelf and table. It was at about 5.54 p.m. So we'll go to that location. Oh, that's even farther north. Wow. Wow. Na'alu, a uh, rolling quake. Let's see, another one from Pikaku. Rattling glass in the house. 15 seconds. Um, just gives a loud, oh, Captain Cook, loud jolt with a few seconds of shaking. Captain Cook, let me show you where that's at. Okay, that would be to the um, west over here, Captain Cook. Okay, and then let's go back to where this earthquake occurred, right there. Yeah, did the ground move? Another report from Captain Cook, a good seven to eight seconds. Um, Hanakoka, 
Shook the house for several seconds. Mild rolling motion. House and ground shaking a lot. This one shook the entire house. Some pictures on the wall shifted. Everyone felt it. Kailula Kona. At around 5.56 p.m. Hawaii time. Kailula Kona. Um, Ollie Drive. I noticed the house floor and items in my room shaking a bit. Nothing major. But I noticed it while my dad was in the living room. He evidently, I guess, didn't notice it. So let's go to that location. Oh, that's up there. Okay, right there. Not far from Captain Cook. Okay. Yeah, I wish there was some reports from down here. Let's see. Let me put the roads in. Doesn't look like they have anything listed. Okay, I know there's some towns over here. We got um, Highway 11, Pahala. Yeah, I wish we had some reports from Pahala. Very concerning. This here is another image of uh, the slump. And it shows the direction that the Earth moved during the uh, 2003 through 2006 earthquakes. There was... Oh, a while back. Let me go back to Google Earth. An area probably over here by um, Kalapanen, um that really dropped and had... Um, there was probably even a small tsunami. There was an earthquake. Um, it's no longer on here. A while back, Google Earth reset itself and I lost all my data. But... That report didn't come in until much later. How about over here by Black Sand Beach? Did you guys feel anything? Yeah. Yeah. That might have been that 2018 6.9. Yeah. Good, re good, good thing I got some coffee tonight from one of my followers because I'm definitely drinking it. And it's way past my bedtime. Couldn't sleep. Well, I slept for about two hours and I woke up and I did the report about that earthquake in um, Los Angeles. And I went back to bed and I couldn't sleep. And seeing this earthquake that I missed that came in earlier. Because it's currently uh, 2.38 a.m. where I am at. So I appreciate the cups of coffee that um, was bought for me. Yeah. This is very concerning. You know, if it does ever slide, it would create one heck of a tsunami. Not to mention all the loss of life for all the coastal cities because the tsunami would wrap around the island. There has been other slumps and landslides around the island in the past. Um, you can kind of see for this location past slumps, but over on... The western side, too. I've talked about this in the past. I don't know if Google Earth still got it, but there is debris over here um, from past slumps. Yeah, you can kind of see it. See this area here? This is all debris from past slumps. And then we got it here on the uh, southern side. So I would like to know um, if any of you there in Pahala felt this earthquake. I know you did. I don't know if you're watching this volcano, but I would like to know what the motion felt like. Um, did it feel like the slump actually moved? Because it did drop. You can see it right there. Um, this is measured in microradians. Or mi microrades. Um, yeah, teeny tiny. Oh, and you can bear. I wish I could make this bigger because there is the first initial drop. And then that second earthquake, about five minutes later, you can see it dropped again. All right, I took a screen capture so you could see it better. See that right there? Can you see that? See that right there? And then at the bottom, let me bring this down. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, pop and then pop 
and then it started going back up again. We got another little quake right there. Anyways, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. It could just be up there at the volcano. The uh, caldera floor dropped. But where this earthquake, these two earthquakes are registered, yeah, I don't know. Um, always be prepared for any type of disaster. And thank you very much for your support. Please stay safe, and I will talk to you later. God bless you.